All right, well, welcome to my adventure. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider staying till the end of the video. Um, we'll talk about all the tackle that I was using, my rod, my rail setups, and uh, yeah, so let's get into it. A decent smallie. On the chatterbait. God, he knocked slack in the line. And it's pike minnow. Pretty big one, too. broke my paddle. I just broke my freaking paddle. Thankfully he didn't thrash around too much because that would have ended up with a freaking hook in my foot. There he is. It's a native species here. Most of the time we throw them up on the bank because uh, they're really hard on salmon and trout and everything else that's in the river. Um, yeah, they're not bad eating, they just smell. So we'll get this guy back. Smells like a dead fish or something over here. It stinks. There's one. A little smallie. Oops. Come on, buddy. There we go. Good, healthy, you know, healthy, chunky fish. Just not very big yet. Woo! Look at that. if you can see that or not but we're gonna retie that
Another pike minnow. shoulders on that little fish. Got him. Pike minnow. Oh. oh man. Chunky fish. Weirdest fish ever. But he tore up my swim bait. some swim bait glue at home so we're gonna switch this one off and uh, yeah we'll get this guy glued up and fixed so there's one oh That little guy just like came right up and nabbed her. That was awesome. Ooh. Ramming speed, Mr. Christian. two big huge carp right here. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're freaking monsters. Oh, that was a tiny guy. I watched him come out and T-bone it. slam me. Oh, I choked it. You think he wanted it? <laughs> Jeez. Not a giant fish, but a decent one for the river. Oh, 
freaking wake off of him. Holy cow. That was freaking awesome. Totally different color on this fish than that last one. This guy is way darker. Oh. I can't remember what this chatterbait's called. It's not your traditional one. Um, it's actually got a smaller blade and I wanted it for fishing the river. Around here because I can get that smaller blade. Um, you can get it down a lot deeper. And this portion of the river, there we go. Um. Oh, right there. Oh, he freaking ate it. See if we can get him. Come back. Oh. We'll go over there and see if we can't. Get a different angle. Oh, there he is right there. He came back for it. Right there. Oh, oh, that was freaking awesome. Oh, it's a big pike minnow. That's a freaking tanker. Caught him in the outside of the eye. Oh, look at that guy. Jesus. Man. That's a freaking caught him in the nose. Look at that thing. We're gonna get a weight on that guy. I just happen to have my handy dandy scale. That is four pounds on the nose. Look at that, four pounds. Freaking tanker. He's got something big in the belly too. 
I'll let him get back. Oh. Oh. That was awesome. He missed it. I jerked it away from him. Came back and just smashed it. That's probably that smallie I missed that was over there because he's just the other side of that big rock. Not a bad little fish. But a little fish nonetheless. Here's a little guy. Little dinker. There's one. Really chunky, healthy fish. Oh, you hit that as soon as you hit the water. Oh. Oh, there's a pike now right there. A little smally. Not a bad little one, but a baby nonetheless. Make sure that's smart for camera. Oh, oh, pipe down. I think he's as big as the last one. I watched him come over and just eat it. Oh, he might be bigger. I don't know, we're gonna weigh this guy too. And we got four pounds, three and a half ounces. Our state record for these things is like seven something. I watched him come right over the rock and just eat that. I got that guy T-boned it. Very next cast. Good lord. Oh, 
Oh, he's gonna wreck my bait. Oh. Ew. He did though. Dang it, little dude. Thinker. Just tore the hook right through that thing. Hopefully, I might be able to save that one. Whoa. Oh, freaking smacked it. And he broke me off. Oh my god, he broke me off. <laughs> oh, that was my fault, totally. I did not let that fish run like he should have. I had my finger on the freaking spool. He's a little guy. And he swallowed it. Just a baby. They're small, but they're still healthy today. Oh! I watched him come up and grab it right next to the boat. Yeah. <sighs> 
slack in it. Oh, it's a decent one. That's a really good one, actually. Oh. Compared to today, that's a pretty good one, actually. There we go, that's a better fish. Probably a pound and a half, maybe. It's fine. One pound, 15 ounces, basically a two pounder. Not a bad fish. Oh man, Jesus. That dude just freaking hit it and was gone. Big old carp. He's a baby. Little guy. Oh, God. There's one. Oh, well, they're bad today. Oh, there's three others. There's three others trying to get it. Let's see if I can get a double. Ah, oh, come on, get out of there. Nope. So aggressive. <laughs> yeah. There's a deep hole right here. Oh, there's one. Spitting up your lunch, man. That's gross. He spit up a crawdad. Oh, 
it came off. <laughs> there we go. Not a toad, but they still fight hard. small mouth they might not all be giants but man they freaking fight like they're all giants they do not give up I don't know if you can see that right there but that's one of the that's a bridge that my town's well very well known for so uh, if you know that bridge Comment it down below. Oh, ring the freaking testicles. Day. all right so thank you for staying until the end of the video um if you like what you saw please consider subscribing uh, we'll get into the tackle that i was using um first off i started out with uh this isn't the same chatterbait that i was using um that one actually ended up breaking off obviously you saw it um it was in the color gizzard shad is what it was it was like a green it had a green back and a white belly um i had that paired up with a um kai tech uh swing in packed fat uh in the 3.8 in uh smally magic and it did really well um i ended up losing the tail on it so i switched over to i didn't have another one of those in my box so i switched over to a uh, reactions innovations little dipper um this is in the bullfrog color so it's it matched it almost almost just like the other one so <clears throat> this is a chatterbait with a smaller blade on it um i like the smaller blade it doesn't put out as much of a thump kind of like you want um but the smaller blade allows you to get down um you can see the difference in those smaller blade lets you get down in heavier current it lets this bait get down a little bit deeper because that bigger blade wants to ride up a little bit longer a little bit so um we did catch them on this one this is like a bluegill color and this is a kitech easy shad i think is what it's called um I, i'm probably wrong on that oh easy shiner sorry that's what it was um as you can tell this guy's this guy got pretty wrecked too. Um, we were throwing around. I did throw around this. You might not have saw this in the video. Um, I was throwing around this. This is a Lunker Hunt Fetch. Um, I believe this is like a super underrated bait. It's got a lot of action. Great tail wiggle, wobble in the head. Um, I have it on a 6 aught um, Oni owner flashy swimmer uh, with the Colorado blade. Um... The next one I was using was this uh, Little Creepers uh, Trash Fish. This is in the six inch. Um, this is the bait I was using. And you can tell that I was able to uh, get that bait all glued back together um, after that fish ripped it into pieces. So 
<clears throat> as far as my rods and my reels go, um, my two lighter rods, which are what I threw the majority of the time, um, one, my real light rod is a Phoenix Feather, um, a 7.1, uh, medium light, and it's paired up with a Shimano Corrado 200. Um, not the DC version that they just came out with. It's just the regular Corrado K. Uh, I have 15 pound floor car or 15 pound, um, power pro with six pound fluorocarbon leader. Uh, my other, my other one is a little bit heavier. It's a mega bass Levante, um, seven foot five in a, with a, with a heavy action it's running the same Corrado 200K with a 15 pound braid and this one's running a 10 pound fluoro leader. And then my my big rod, uh, which I did, which I was throwing um, the little creeper on, it, it runs, it's a uh, Phoenix M1 swim bait, uh, eight foot swim bait rod. Um, it's in a heavy action um, with a Shimano Tranks on it, and it has 65 pound braid with a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. So that's the setups that I used. Um, the way I was targeting these fish is basically just like I would target fish from the bank. Um, if I'm bank, because I'm, I'm a bank fisherman, like that's, that's the majority of what I grew up doing. Um, the kayak just allows me to basically bank fish, but without worrying about losing any lures like i can i can i would cast i was casting them and targeting the little the little seams and things like that right between the rocks and in between little patches of rocks and things like that it just gave me the comp having the kayak gave me the confidence to um know that if i got stuck i could just go over there get it unstuck and i wouldn't have to worry about it so um but yeah, I, I, I was picking spots that had deeper water in between boulders and things like that or where the current was running through because a lot of times those bigger fish will be sitting at the bottom. And I mean, we saw that in in that video a number of times. So um, yeah, so thank you for coming on my adventure with me. And uh, like I said, if you like this video, please consider subscribing and I uh, hope you guys have a great day.